There's nothing like unusually tight waistbands, stuck on rings, and major stomach discomfort to make you feel like crawling right back into bed. In many cases, it's not even about any potential weight gain. Bloat just makes you feel, well, gross. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie. Bloating is the feeling of fullness in your belly. It is one of the most common indigestion problems people face. Not chewing food properly, eating too quickly and overeating are some of the most common causes. No matter what the reason is, if you have the sensation that you could float away like a hot air balloon, there's no denying it's downright uncomfortable. And you're gonna wanna reduce bloating as quickly as possible. In today's video, we'll tell you the best ways to do it. From eating protein before bed, reducing portion sizes, drinking more water, contracting your abs to adding peppermint oil and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number one, don't drink milk and coffee for breakfast. Milk stimulates the production of gastric acid and increases acidity. Don't treat it like a drink, it's food and quite heavy. Choose yogurt or kefir as they contain probiotics which help the stomach bacteria in digestive processes. As for coffee and beer, they affect the stomach almost the same way as milk. Many people have some form of lactose intolerance, which may also make digesting dairy products difficult. If your body can't break down lactose, eating any food that contains dairy can result in gas, bloating, diarrhea, or constipation. Skip cereal and milk and start your day with eggs and veggies or toast with all-natural peanut butter instead. What are your favorite breakfast foods and drinks? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number two, don't drink alcohol on an empty stomach. Alcohol stimulates the production of gastric acid. This, in the absence of food, slows down its work and begins to corrode the walls. With frequent use, it kills the microflora of the stomach and the intestines. If you're going to drink, make sure you eat something first. Number three, get out your foam roller. Foam rolling helps in multiple ways. It enhances your body's circulation, calms and regulates the nervous system, improves the body's digestive and detoxification systems, and decreases inflammation. You'll feel some relief from bloating after just one session of foam rolling that incorporates inversions, twists, and self-massage. But for consistent relief, do some foam rolling several times a week, even for just 10 minutes at a time. Number four, eat protein right before bed. How much you can reset your stomach starts with what you put in it. Getting a healthy dose of protein right before you go to sleep for the night will ensure your body doesn't hold on to water when you wake up the next morning. Protein before bed has shown clinically to boost your metabolism the next morning. Plus, it helps your body repair itself more effectively while you sleep, so you wake up feeling fresher. You can eat half a grilled chicken breast or a scoop of protein powder for best results. Number five, lower your sodium intake. Cutting back on certain food is essential to beat belly fat. And salty foods are unanimously called out first because they cause your body to hold onto water. This is no easy feat, but simply being cautious that high sodium foods cause bloating may help persuade you to make healthier decisions. Swap out salt for seasoned herbs to enhance flavor. Or for a double dose of belly fat blasting power, spice your food with hot peppers or chili powder. A compound in these spices called capsinoids has been shown to reduce abdominal fat. Number six, reduce your portion sizes. Your pants shouldn't need an elastic waist, but if you feel like the buttons may burst, you might need to take a look at your portion sizes. If you find yourself overeating at meals or in the evenings, you may benefit from eating more balanced snacks throughout the day. This will help regulate your blood sugar levels. Including protein and fiber in your snacks, such as hummus with veggie sticks or yogurt with fruit, can also keep you fuller longer. Number seven, steer clear of artificial sweeteners. You may have eaten more than your fair share of sugar-free ice cream, hoping to save on calories, but you find yourself grabbing your stomach and running for the bathroom a few hours later. This is because many artificial sweeteners are not easily digestible, particularly sugar alcohols, which are artificial sweeteners found in most chewing gums. This isn't inherently a bad thing, but eating artificial sweeteners can cause gas, upset stomach, and bloat. Spare yourself the inflated balloon feeling and leave anything artificial on the shelf. Number eight, contract your abs. Many people aren't actually bloated at all. They've just developed a habit of relaxing their abdominal muscles and contracting their diaphragm. This makes them look and feel bloated because their stomachs are sticking out. Learn to contract your abs instead. Imagine someone is about to punch you in the gut and pull your belly button in towards your spine. Practice contracting your abs for five to 10 seconds several times, being sure not to hold your breath. 
Once you get used to the feeling, remind yourself to do it periodically throughout the day so that it becomes a habit and you won't look or feel as bloated. Number nine, drink water. When you're dehydrated, your body tends to hold on to all the water it can. The more you drink, the less bloated you'll be. It will also flush out excess sodium, which holds on to water. Drinking ice cold liquids during meals is a strict no-no. This will hinder the digestive process by diluting gastric juices and cool your overall digestion at a critical time. You also dilute the digestive enzymes your body needs for effective digestion of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Instead, sip on lukewarm water or hot tea. Just make sure you sip slowly and don't chug. Number 10, avoid high fiber foods. Introducing fiber to your diet can transform your health, but it's a double-edged sword. This is because too much can backfire. So while fiber intake is important for healthy digestion, going from zero to 100 can cause bloating instead of relieving it. If you suffer from chronic constipation, dietary changes may prove most effective in fixing bloat. This means avoiding things that might otherwise actually help with digestion like broccoli, chia seeds, lentils, and black beans. If you're not suffering from bloat, then eating high fiber foods can actually be very good for your digestive system. Learn more about the best high fiber foods by watching this video titled, Nine Healthiest High Fiber Foods You Should Be Eating. Now back to ways to get rid of bloating. Number 11, do physical activity. You don't have to go for a five mile run every day, but fitting in some regular physical activity might keep things moving more smoothly in your tummy. There are two reasons why a short walk, especially after eating a big meal, can significantly reduce bloating. First, exercise increases the motility of your colon. This reduces the amount of time stool sits in your belly making gas. Second, exercise increases your heart and respiratory rates, which also increases blood flow to the guts. This encourages your bowel muscles to work harder to do their job. Number 12, give yourself a stomach massage. If you don't want to make any dietary changes to beat your bloat, you could try your hand at some amateur abdominal massage. This is a safe way to help clear constipation. A basic massage involves moving your fingertips in a circular motion over the abdomen. Start on your lower right side and travel clockwise up to your rib cage and then across and down to your pelvis. Number 13, go easy on processed foods. Processed foods are quick and easy when you're pressed for time, but they're not doing you any favors in the bloat department. They are usually high in sodium, which causes water retention, leading to bloating. If you love having something crunchy to munch on, try keeping healthy, non-bloating snacks handy, like carrot sticks or unsalted almonds. Number 14, avoid swallowing air and gas. There are two sources of gas in the digestive system. One is gas produced by the bacteria in the gut, the other is air or gas that is swallowed when you eat or drink. The biggest offender here is carbonated beverages like soda or fizzy drinks. They contain bubbles with carbon dioxide, a gas that can be released from the liquid after it reaches your stomach. Chewing gum, drinking through a straw, and eating while talking or in a hurry can also lead to increased amounts of swallowed air. Number 15, try peppermint oil. Bloating may also be caused by altered function of the muscles in the digestive tract. Drugs called antispasmodics can help reduce muscle spasms. Peppermint oil is a natural substance that is believed to function in a similar way. Numerous studies have shown that it can reduce various symptoms in IBS patients, including bloating. It is available in supplement form as well. Number 16, eat high potassium foods. Foods rich in potassium like bananas, avocados, and sweet potatoes may help regulate fluid retention. This will also help manage and minimize morning bloating. Potassium helps to flush out sodium and water from the body, which decreases bloating. Remember to eat it at least two hours before bed or just add one of your favorite potassium-rich foods to dinner. While these tips can help you get rid of belly bloating, it's very important to know what causes it in the first place. Learn more of what we're talking about by watching what causes bloated stomach, or finding out about beverages that can cause gas and bloating. These two videos will definitely help you identify causes of bloat, so go ahead and pick a video or watch them both for maximum benefits. Have you ever had a bloated stomach? What was the reason? Let us know in the comment section below.